Hello there guys, welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In this one we're going to be taking a look again at the VA REST plugin. Um, and this time we're going to be using it to create a, a login system within Unreal. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate what I've got first of all. So if I hit play, you'll see that I get this screen here. Now, ignore the fact that I can move. Um, we're just going to go ahead and demonstrate this. So if I put user2 in here, followed by password2, and try to log in, you'll see that it says invalid and it says try again down here. But if I put in username one and password one, then the login system works. Now, the coolest bit about this is that this is actually being verified on an external server. So here I have a server running um, using Amazon Web Service, Amazon Web Services? Yeah, Amazon Web Services. Um, one of their EC2 machines is actually hosting a node server for me. So. Yeah, this video is going to get a little bit um, out of the realm of just Unreal Engine. This is going to delve into something a bit bigger, but since my previous VA REST tutorial introduced you to this concept, I figured we'd go ahead and explore it a little bit more. So, let's jump into how we might go about this. And the place I'm going to start is I'm going to get the nitty gritty out of the way first. So, let's take a look at some server code. Now, on my Amazon EC2 machine, I have a Node.js server running. Now, Node.js is, um, you can go ahead and, and find a dozen tutorials on Node.js. I don't really want to dive into it too much, but it's, uh, it's a JavaScript platform that allows you to, well, you can do tons of things with it. But in this instance, I'm using it to, to host a web server. And here, I'm also using a, um, a package for Node.js called Express. And Express allows you to very quickly set up uh, a web API, which is what we're using to listen to the incoming commands from, from Unreal Engine 4. So when Unreal Engine... So actually, I'm going to dive back to the other end of this now and bring this back to Unreal. If I take a look at the login screen, when we what we have here is using the exact same... Um, it's using the same things that I showed you in the previous video uh, of how to call these URLs. So this is... Uh, using VA REST plugin to call my Amazon server. Um, so what it's doing is very, very simple. Um, this is a, a widget here that I'm in right now. The widget has a, a couple of text blocks for my field inputs. Um, so it's a little bit difficult to, to try and describe how the, all of this comes together, so I'll to try and find a starting point to talk you through it. Um, but okay, so let's let's, I suppose we could start with the widget, right? So we, we have our widget. Uh, we have these two uh, text box inputs here. This is a user and this is pass. And we have a login button that's going to go ahead and send the process off. So behind that widget, what we have is we take the values of those. We take the user and we, we take that as a string value. And we take the password and we put those into a JSON object. Now it's important that we're using JSON here because this is the language by which our messages are going to be sent between our game and our, our node server. This is the JavaScript, this is the, the language that JavaScript can read, and this is how we wrap our objects. So we're putting username and password into a JSON object. Now you could do dozens of things here, like encrypt this, and you really should, but this is very much just the bare bones of how you're going to go about setting this system up. Now, take a note that we're using the post request here. That's because we're sending data up to the server. We're, asked, we're sending the username and the password, which are generated by the user. So we're sending those up to the server. So we use, we're making a post request and we have a callback and the callback is um, a listener on our end that listens for a response from that server. So let's jump back to the server now. Let's imagine that we've typed in a username, a password, you know, the users clicked login and this post request now hops out to our server and it's called, it listens here for a post request on the uh, UE4 side. Now I introduce you to Postman in my previous video, I'm going, to, I'm going to open that up again. And you'll see that my route here is to UE4, but that's just the setup of my um, Express server. Your Express server will be different. So if you look at the app.js here, you've got an index page, and I, I put a UE4 page in here. But you don't need to worry about too much of this now. Um, if you want to go ahead and look at how to set up an API, you know, there's, there's a lot of other great videos out there about um, setting up Express and, and getting an API set up, but it's not very much in the realms of Unreal. So I'm going to try and leave it as bare as I can in here for now. Um, so what happens is this, this request is called on the server and login is passed down here. And within the uh, Express framework, I'm able to pass the request and the response object into this login function here. 
Now, from the request which I've received from Unreal, I'm able to get a, a, a variable of, of the name user, which is the username that's been sent up, and a variable of the name password, which is the password that the user sent up. And here's where you'd probably do some call off to a database, you know, some checking if this is the correct user or not. But here, for this example, I've simply hard coded in the values user1 and the password as password1. Now, if those two match, then it sends back this JSON object here, which has a string, uh, which has a, a field name of result and the string value of OK. And if it's, if it's not user1 and, pass, and password1, then it sends back this with the result um, field being invalid. I can take these out now. Um, this status code also changes it, so it's an unauthorized status code. So if you wanted to try and do something with the HTTP status codes, you know, within Unreal Engine, you could go ahead and set the status code to a different one of those there. So from there, once we, once we send the response, this is where the callback function within Unreal Engine picks it up. So our custom event here picks up that, that callback response and uh, we take our response object and we look for that result field. Remember I mentioned this result field here? So this result field being OK or invalid, that's now picked up here as a string field. And if that is OK, then we go ahead and we remove this widget from the parent. So we get rid of the login screen. Uh, and then you could go on to do a whole other host of things from there. So you might actually have this call off to a function to say load a level. You could easily put in an open level in here. Um, so you might have a, a login world, for example, where all your users are and they can still run around and then whenever they log in, they actually jump into the proper game. You know, there's, there's a lot of things that you can do now that you've got the server saying okay to you. So that's the basics of, of a login system. Also, you've got the false, you know, when it, if, it, if it's anything but okay, we know that the response hasn't been handled correctly. You know, something's gone wrong and either way, we don't want to log the user in. So we're just going to say try again and after two seconds, set the text back. Um, if you're wondering how I got the login screen up there, I've covered that in, in other tutorials, but it's basically here in my level blueprint. Um, this is all moot now, but here at the start of the game, I, I create a login widget and I add it to the viewport of the player controller. So that's how you would probably go about setting up a uh, communication between your, your front end, so your, your, uh, your real engine here and your backend server running over here. I'm using Amazon Web Services, but you can use others. Um, in fact, let me, let me just go ahead and show you some of this real quick. Um, what I can do here real, is I can console.log and I can put in the user in here and I can do another one. And this is pass. If you're wondering what um, IDE I'm using, this is uh, Visual Studio Code. It's absolutely fantastic, highly recommend it. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and synchronize my local files with the server. This program here is WinSCP that I'm using to communicate with the, uh, with the Amazon EC2 server. So I'm just going to go ahead and shut that down and then start that server back up again because we put new files in, new code. And within Unreal Engine, if we go ahead and play the game, but this time we're going to try uh, totally Unreal as the username and password one as the password, hit login, and you should see in here that we actually can see that data there being handled in the server. So this this variable here, your username and password, is what you're going to want to go off and manipulate and search for and and you know handle on the uh, on the server side of this. So I hope this tutorial has been helpful, guys. I hope you've learned something from this. I hope this has uh, shown you how to get a login system in your game. I thought it was a pretty cool tutorial request, and I was uh, happy to pick this one up. So if, you, if it has helped you and you've enjoyed this content, guys, please consider giving the video a thumbs up. Comment in the uh, comment section below. Let me know what you want to see next. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out. Thanks, guys. As always, I'll see you in the next video.